Hey guys, Andy Thomas here from Wolf on the Run again. Um, today I've had a few questions regarding uh, my sleeping bed and my mattress and whatever. So I'm just going to put it all up for you and show you exactly what it is. I classed it as four star comfort. I'm really happy with it. So um, yeah, the comfort's there. Um, but you know, some people like the blow up mattresses, some people like a bit of foam. I like the comfort and I'll show you exactly what it is. All right guys, so this is the bed. It's um, it's not an actual Thermarest, as I said, it's a copy of, no, well not a copy, it's a similar item to the Thermarest. Um, you could, like I said, you'd probably buy three of these for the price of one Thermarest. But uh, I'll show you how it goes together. First of all, you've got all these orange and black poles that you put together. As you can see on there, it just say aviation aluminium, so it's pretty strong stuff. These blue pieces are the outside rails. They slip through the edge of the canvas, which I'll show you. So they go through like that, either side, as you can see, it's like a stretcher thing there. And then in these, you have two holes. There's some that you double up. So that will go like that, and that will go opposite. So that's like that, that one goes that way. And then the uh, As you can see that goes like that and then you twist them and that gives an extra strength in the middle for locking. You just do that on the, the inside one which gives the, the main support where your thigh is, um, where your thigh sits on the mattress. As you can see that you've got one that goes that way and then one goes that way and then you twist them and lock them in. There's two of those and you put those in the middle, that gives you strength. So I'll show you how they're going, pretty simple. Just lock down in there, get the tension. Put these two in the middle. Twist. This one's a little bit more, a bit more pressure because of the two poles together. Which it is. It's pretty straightforward, as you can see. As 
They do recommend that you alternate these gold bars, black bars, just for strength wise, but as I'm just putting it together to show you guys, I'm not that bothered at the moment, but normally you would have like a gold bar, gold bar, and, and, and vice versa. That's pretty taut, that's pretty strong. As I say, it carries my weight. It, on the instructions, it does tell you when you get onto it to sort of sit in the middle before you actually turn. But yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm you know, it's only 100 mil, but it's still all actually off the floor. But as I say, that, that was, that's sufficient on its own, it's on with a sleeping bag. As I say, I've got this. Uh, Dolphin plating mattress that I put on top. Get it undone. Go. You just undo that. Throw it in your tent. Start to blow itself up. And the same my pillow. Same sort of thing. Throw it in. That blows itself up. And in this sort of weather, we've got about 24 degrees today, so if you're camping, you know, it'll be fine, you just lie straight on top of there. But um, this is the sleeping bag liner I've showed you before. Um, so yeah, if you're out in this sort of weather, that's plenty. That is plenty. Zips up, tuck your head in, job done. So the pillow. Mattress, lock that off. There you go, guys. That's me. I'm, and that's really, really comfortable. As I say, you've got that extra bit of protection. Um, the bars on the side, obviously, with that mattress on top. If you do lie on your side. Your knees are not picking on the bars, you got that snug as a bug, mate. Fantastic. I just thought I'd show you my uh, my sleeping bag out of its bag and um, the idea I was on about with this. As I said to you, this is zero degrees in the in the winter here in Melbourne. Um, you can get up to minus one, minus two up in the Alpine Alpine Forest and um, you know Barmer Forest where we go. So what I did, this, a couple of nights I got a bit cold, um, so what I did is I bought this and it's, as you can see, look, I mentioned to you about nice and wide, I like a lot of room inside there, I like to move about. So inside, wrong way, I could do it that way, that's fine. Inside there, look, as you can see, I've sewed on these couple of toggles. And then on the bottom of this, put that inside there, like so. Connect these to here, that side. And this is a meter wide as well, so I've got plenty of room. That goes onto there. And what that does when I zip it up, as I say, you've got extra, extra warmth, extra lining. And it's, yeah, really, plenty, plenty. As I say, I've been looking for a down bag, um, but as you guys know, like I said, I do like to have it wide. But that's me. As comfy as you can get. So basically, you've got your, your sheet, your liner, your sleeping bag, and toasty as, comfy as. And it all goes on the bike, dead easy. All right guys, so there you go. Um, this brand is an Osmate. As I say, it's about 30 mil. Decent piece of foam, lock it off. It's already blown itself up now. Um, that there I bought off eBay. I think it was $90, something like that. As I say, the Thermarest one at about $290. Um, nice and light, no weight in it at all, so you don't even feel it on the bike, it's no big deal. So, adding that, um, as I say, you guys, you know, some of you guys are happy to sleep on things like that, but 
bony hips, big guy. Um, yeah, I need to be off the floor. So I'll put that on top of, and just say, these two together, there's hardly any weight in them, so. Yeah, that's a bit bulky, but, you know, that's it. My sleeping bag, as I say, that's a fair bit of weight. That's quite heavy, but again, I keep saying it, I can't find a bag that wide in a down, otherwise I would go down. All right, boys and girls. As I say, that's my pillow, and like I keep saying, so comfortable. Just throw it in, undo it, throw it into your tent, and when you're ready for sleep, mate, just set it to the right pressure that you want. Happy days, really comfortable. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you soon.